Hi everyone, this is Miss Courtney from Urbana Art and Soul. Um, today we're going to do another a cool project. I've done this um, with my kiddos in my class, so I thought I'd share it with everybody. And everyone can do this. Parents, kids, everybody can make their own self-portrait proclaiming their words to the world. And I have my, this is my little sketch. This is me. It's like looking in a mirror. It's definitely me. Anyone that knows me can tell that that is Miss Courtney. Anyway, I have mine that says, um, be the change, because that's something that um, I really feel strongly about. And uh, um, that's mine. We're going to come up with our own. So everyone's going to have their own B statement. Anyway, I want to give you um, just a visual so you can see kind of what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the materials we need. Um, we're just going to need a white piece of paper. We're going to need a notebook paper like this that's cut down. And I'll talk about that when we get to this step. We're going to need a permanent marker if you have it. If not, that's okay. We're going to need pencil, a uh, eraser, a brush for the watercolor. If you have a watercolor set, that would be great. You don't have to have one, but if you want to add um, any uh, color details, it's nice to have the watercolor set. And I'll talk about that too. Um, crayons are fine and markers, any markers or crayons or anything you have. So if you don't have these things, then don't worry. Uh, you can use a pencil and a, a marker or just a pencil. It doesn't matter. Oh, and a glue stick. So if you have a glue stick, I just have this one. Uh, if you have any glue stick, you might have it in your school supplies. Go ahead and grab that. So once you get all your supplies together, meet me back here. If you have your supplies ready to go, we're going to start. So the first thing we're going to do is um, that notebook paper that we have. If you don't have notebook paper, we can just um, improvise and you can make one with some uh, blue lines and this red line on a plain white piece of paper. But it's got to be cut down a little bit because we want it to fit on our paper just like this. So it's short. Mine, I cut down past that second hole of the notebook paper. And then we want uh, room on either side for our, our hands to be holding the paper. So once you have your notebook cut down, you're just going to trace around it so we know where, about where we're going to glue it. And we don't need to do a dark line. We just need to trace so we have an idea. And I'm just doing this like this. And you can see my lines there. It's not perfect, that's okay. So we'll put this aside for now because we'll, we'll work on that in a little bit. So we have our kind of uh, traced area for the notebook paper. Now we're going to start to draw our self-portrait. And we're only gonna draw our portrait from the top of our nose up because we're kind of in front of our paper. That's what we want everyone to see, our B statement. So we're only gonna see the top of our nose our eyes and our head. So the first thing we're gonna do is on the top, um, about here, and it's you can go ahead and make a mark so that we're not uh, going past the end of the paper, uh, probably about here. And we're gonna make another little dot about here. And that's just so I know that's where my head, my face is going to stop. And we're going to make a shape we know our head's kind of a circle or oval shape, so we're gonna do the top of it, and I'm gonna call that our rainbow shape. So we're gonna start here, and we're going to make, oh, my pencil's not working. We're going to make a rainbow shape like this, just like that. So that's the top of our head. We're gonna change this a little bit once we add the hair to it. Our nose is in the middle of our face, most of our noses are, and right here is where we're going to put that bridge of our nose, and it's really simple. We're just going to add a line and a line, just like that, so we have our little nose. The next thing we're going to do is add our eyes, and everybody has two eyes, so we're, we're going to make sure that everybody has only two eyes. Our eyes can be uh, round like a circle. Or they can be uh, what I like to say, um, either a football shape or an almond shape. And if you're not sure how to do that, 
Here's an easy way to remember. We're going to make a smiley face, and then we're going to make a frowny face that connects, just like that. So we're going to make a smiley face and a frowny face that connects, just like that. So I have two eyes. On the inside of the eyes, we're gonna make two round circles like that for the eyes. On the inside of those circles, we have another circle that's dark. Right now it looks like our eyes are staring right at us because we haven't added the details yet. My light might have a little glare on that one eye. It's making it shiny. It's not, it's filled in. Um, we have eyelashes, so we can, we can add eyelashes. We don't have to add a lot. And then everybody has eyebrows, and that's what really makes, completes our face is the eyebrows. And they're just little arcs like that. And it's that flattened out rainbow or frowny face, if you wanna use that to remember. So that's the face. And if you have glasses, you can, you can um, make your glasses around your eyes, and then you're going to have like mine, I'll show you mine. Uh, here see how I have the glasses I just made my shape of my glasses and then I made a connector there and another shape and then the part that attaches to my ear so I'll let you look at that for a minute if you have glasses and you need to draw your glasses I'm gonna make this portrait of me <clears throat> without my glasses tonight just so you can see it I'm, we're not I'm not gonna draw ears on my Portrait because my my hair covers up my ears but if you have shorter hair you might want to draw your ears and your ears are going to be right here next to your eye so if you you put your finger on the edge of your eye and you go like this you'll find your ear and you can do it to your own face your ears right next to your eye so we're going to just make a really simple ear shape like that and one on the other side too just like that. So we have ears. Now we're going to do the hair on the top. Not many of us have a perfectly round head like that, even if we have hair. So we're going to make a part line. Everyone has a part line, whether it's in the middle or on the side. Mine's kind of on the side right here. And my hair goes kind of over my forehead like this. And even if you have straight hair, your hair is not perfectly straight. And then my hair goes like this, down like that. And my hair comes down a little bit more right here. And then on the top where my part is, because I just have this line sticking out of my head, I'm going to make the top of my head and my hair is not perfectly straight or curly, but I'm gonna make just a little bit of a line. And then right here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Kind of go like this. And I have little hairs that kind of fly away like this. Some of you have that too. Yeah. And then I don't want this just to be solid. I want you to see little hairs there. So I'm going to make some kind of squiggly lines like this. Oh my gosh, it looks just like me. It's like looking in a mirror. My goodness. So there, that's my hair on my head. You can do whatever hair you want to. If you want your hair to be um, in a ponytail, it can be. You want to just fill in this top part and then make your ponytail going down. So whatever kind of hair you want, if your hair is a little longer, you can have it come down a little bit. And if it's a little shorter, you can just have it end right up here. So I have my hair done, I have my face, and I have this blank thing right here. But we just don't have a paper in front of our face without holding it. So right here is where we're going to have our hands holding the paper. And I'll show you again my example. 
See how I have my fingers? Now I drew this paper on so I could draw my fingers over top of the paper. We're going to add that detail once we glue our paper on and I'll, sh I'll tell you why we're using an actual paper. Um, but we wanna make the hand um, shape on either side. And this is really easy. We're gonna start right about here. And we're only gonna draw four fingers because our thumb is is not is hidden behind the paper. So we're going to do four little loops like this. One, two, three, four. And on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, four. Okay? So that's going to be what are the uh, part of our fingers that are not touching the paper. So what you can do now is you can outline all these pencil lines with a Sharpie or a crayon of any color, darker crayon, um, just so that we have this graphic portrait. So I'm just gonna take a minute and kind of outline my portrait so you can see it a little better before I do all those juicy details of the color. Now when you do the hair, I might not go over all the lines perfectly, that's okay. We get the idea. And we can use our eraser to erase those lines if they bother you. Sometimes I'm not really bothered by them and I just leave them. So I'm just going over it quickly. I'm not gonna trace around the paper. I'm just gonna trace around the details of my face. And your eyebrows might look a little different. They might not be perfectly straight, that's okay. This is your portrait. I'm going really fast because I want to do the next step. So there's my face. You can see it really good right now. And then I'm going to go over my fingers here. So before I do anything else, I want to get that piece of paper back, this notebook paper. And I'll tell you what we're going to do with this. I'm going to move my paper out of the way a little bit. We're going to write our B statement on here. And we I was thinking about all the different B statements we could make. So I thought maybe we could make a list together if you're not sure. And then you can pick one. So I'm going to write it on this paper so that you have it to see what will be a good B statement. So I'll start with the first one. Um, a good B statement might be B you. Be you. Hmm, what's another one? Think of one. Ah, that's a good one. Be brave. Okay, what's another one? Let's think a minute. Oh, I like that one. Be kind. That's a really good one. It's another one. That's a good one too. Be strong. Hmm, it's another one. Be love. Those are good selections. So you can come up with your own or you can pick one that I have here, but you want it to be your B statement, something you want the world to know, okay? I think I'm gonna have mine uh, be, be kind today because I like that one. So what I'm gonna do uh, is take that notebook paper and we want to use maybe a marker so it's really it stands out and we're not gonna sketch it out first because this is your handwriting and we want it to be what you would write so we don't want it to look perfect so I think I'm gonna use um, purple today to write mine and I think I'm I said be kind right so I'm just gonna write it and sometimes I slant oh I even like that I have pink um, a little purple smudge on there because that makes it look like a real notebook paper that would be in my backpack or something. It would be really messy. All right, I'm going to write be kind. And I slant my paper a little bit, so it's going to be angled. So be kind. See how I wrote it really fast? I didn't really think about it. So write your little statement. And then what we're going to do, this sounds a little crazy. It's a little fun. We're going to take our notebook paper and we're going to ball it up like we sometimes do. Something that we would have that looks like this that we might throw in the trash. 
And then we're going to take it and we're going to unball it so it has all those nice wrinkles in it. I love that. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue it on to our page like this. Now here's the thing, when you glue it, I don't want it to be perfectly flat so you can't see these beautiful wrinkles. I love those. We want those to, to stand out. We want those to stay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue just on the corners, okay? Just right there so I know it's gonna stay on my paper. But I want it to be uneven. I want it to be wrinkled. I'll do a little bit right there too. I'll do a little bit right there. And we're going to line it up the best we can with the lines that we did. And if we have to change it, we can. We're just gonna flatten those parts down that we have the glue on. And see how my line over here came over there? That's okay, because we can erase those. Okay. So mine looks like this. I love it. I love all those wrinkles and it says be kind. So it looks like I'm really holding a notebook paper. So over here you see I have my uh, fingers that aren't touching the paper. And then you have these over here. We're going to go ahead and finish off our fingers on top of the paper. And I'm going to switch back to my pencil just so uh, if we have to erase we can. So where the fingers are, we're going to finish it and we're just going to make a loop like that that makes our finger shape. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a finger, 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 finger. So they look like a bunch of ovals that are stacked on top of each other. So we'll have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, I have all my eight fingers showing. Because remember, those thumbs are tucked behind the paper. And then right here, see where I have this uh, line that I, I didn't line it up perfectly? I can, I can go through and I can erase that. That's fine. Okay. So then you're going to take your crayon, if you used it, for your outline or your permanent marker. And you're going to trace over it like this, and then I'm gonna trace over it here, like this. And then at the top of the fingers are your fingernails. So we're just going to make a little circle like that. See how I'm making those little fingernails? And then on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. It might be hard, because we don't have much uh, very much space, but that's okay. So I have all my fingernails. And then where you have your um, your knuckle, it's what we call it, the knuckle, we have little ridges. We just want to draw maybe a line at the knuckle so it looks like a real finger. So our hands are holding our paper. We have our face peering out from behind the paper and our bold statement that tells the world what we want the world to know. Uh, so now we're ready to add a little bit of color details. So thinking we can use watercolor, crayon, and marker. So I have, I have blue eyes. You might have brown eyes, green eyes, blue eyes too. You can use your marker and, or your crayon. And I'm looking for a blue crayon. I have a dark blue, so I'll just use that one, even though my eyes aren't super dark. Here's one. This one is a blue green. I guess that'll work. So my eye, the eye color is around that dark circle and I'm going to just color that in because we want that to really pop out. And again, you might be using brown or green or even a darker blue if you want. Okay, so those are my eyes. <clears throat> then you might have blonde hair. So if you have blonde hair, you can use yellow or you can use brown, like a brown marker. I'm gonna get all my colors. You might have like a really dark hair, like a black. You might have pink hair, I don't know. 
So if you want to get pink out, go ahead. You can have pink hair. And I think those, those are all I'm going to get out. So I'm going to make my hair brown. I'm going to make it the color it is. It has some gray in it too, so I can get the gray out too. So let's do this. I didn't put a bow or anything in my hair, but you might have. So if you have a bow or a ribbon or something in your hair, you can go ahead and use your colors, your markers or your crayons to decorate that and color that in. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go over those lines again. See how I'm not really coloring it in, but I'm just going over the lines with the marker color like that just so it's brown and then I guess if I'm gonna make this a real portrait I I better get some of the gray the gray color so I'm gonna add a little gray so you can really tell it's me like that Okay, so the next thing you can do, if you have your watercolors and you would like to, you can go ahead and watercolor the background a color. Um, if you don't have watercolor and you wanna use your marker, you can, you can like make a pattern on the background um, or do that technique that I showed a lot of you before where you take a piece of paper and you fold it in half or couple times so it's a little thicker okay <clears throat> and I I'm gonna if I want my background to be pink I'm gonna get my pink water-based marker so it has to be water-based and I make this marker spot like spot on a paper so it's really colorful and I take my brush okay and my plain water and I dip it in the marker Okay, and I get it really wet. I can then go and make a background. And I don't have to have actual watercolors, so I can use my marker. So that's an idea. The other thing is you can use your watercolor set. So I have mine here. And if I, I went ahead and started with the pink, so I can continue on with the pink. And I would go ahead and make my whole background the watercolor. So I do that, and then when you go to the face and the fingers, if you want to, you don't have to, because this is a nice graphic um, uh, art piece. You don't need to color in your skin color, but if you do, you can use your watercolor, and you can do that. I will tell you, a lot of kiddos, what they do is they want a lot of color. So we just need a little bit. So I'm gonna show you an example on another piece of paper. If you, Use your watercolor and you put just a little bit of water and a little bit of color. You would get something like this. See how it's nice and light? If I really get my brush really wet like this and I get a lot of color on it, look how dark that is. We might not want it that dark, so we want to do it a little lighter. You just want a little bit, almost all water, and you just want a little bit that's going to tint your face. Just like that, you can barely see it. You might be a, a different skin tone, and you can find your skin tone in your watercolor set. And if you <clears throat> would rather not, you don't have to do it. You can just make it the graphic um, outline. So you can go ahead and finish your portrait your statement to the world, and then you can hang it up proudly so that everybody knows. And hopefully your whole family can get involved and you can all have your mini portraits, okay? And if you wanna send me a picture, go ahead and do that so I can see what you guys look like and what your statement is. Have fun with it and I'll talk to you later, bye.